Where your pension money is going, the lavish hotel on your career horizon? Thing. Goran Visnik and Usher, next live. Hello. Got your test results back. Very, very interesting. You have no idea how interesting I am. You keep saying that. What's it like? What, to be a vampire? All my senses are heightened. Everything I see, smell, taste, feel, it makes sex incredible. <laughs> I bet. Of course, I'm not really a neck man. I feel wild and invincible, like no one can stop me. Seems I have. For now. But when I get out of here, I'll have total power in every way imaginable. And you could too, Chris. Isn't that what you've always wanted? Hey, so when's your next break? I found a cozy little stairwell over here built for two. Oh. Is uh, this the earring that you were looking for, Dr. Wetzler? I found it on the supply closet floor. Thanks, Ted. <laughs> Wonder how it got there. You know, we have to stop sneaking around like teenagers. Hey, can I help it if I'm crazy about you? Karen? Oh, my God. Uh, Eve, my baby. What happened? Having contractions it's too okay. soon, Karen. Too soon. Uh, OK, let's get her on. Uh, all right. All right. There you go. Uh, Let me get the monitor. Uh, easy. It's probably Braxton Hicks. You don't know that. OK, we'll run some tests, and I'm sure there's nothing to Karen, don't it. patronize me. I know what's going on here. I know what's happening. I'm losing my baby. Losing my baby. <laughs> Can't this plane go any faster? We are going to get to Livy. Jack is probably already there. Jack vaporized into thin air. It's not exactly comforting. Well, it is in a way, because I, I think that Jack's love for Livy transported him to her side. Well, then I wish he would have taken us with him. Lucy, I'm scared to death that we won't be in time to save my daughter. As the sun dies and the mist of night rises, sweet children, my honor and duty and pleasure it is to join these fated souls as willing wife and husband through this life and the many lives and generations which will follow. If there be anyone who would object to this union, speak Livy. now or eternal. Livy! Jack. Ah, uh, Jack, do you mind? We're kind of in the middle of a wedding here. The party's over, Caitlin. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Would you mind going upstairs while I handle this little mess? Why? Caleb, why can't I stay? Because you can't kill me in your presence. And you're gonna have to kill me. Because I'm not leaving here without Libby. Everything looks fine, Abe. You're going to be just fine. Stop saying that. No, I won't, because you are going to be just fine. I'm just going to run this to the lab, okay? That's not going to help. Calm down. Just but hold she my doesn't hand. know anything. She doesn't know what's going on. I know. You know, I great know. doctors always make lots of patients. No. This, this is what he wants. And you know what else he wants. I know. What, what are you talking about? You really want to know? I'll tell you. There's a vampire in Port Charles. Well, every town has his blood. I'm suckers. not kidding you, Karen. He's as real as I am. Did you give her a sedative? I had the same reaction. Until I saw proof. The vampire is the brother of the man who married us. Okay, guys, this isn't funny. Who's laughing, Karen? I saw Jack's fangs and the damage that was oh, done. Oh, wait a minute. Jack Ramsey? Yeah, he was attacked. Now he's one of them. And who knows how many others are out there? Why would we lie to you about this? Caleb is real. That, th th that's the name of the man Gabby's seen. He's not a man. Karen, he's an it. He's a vampire. 
to listen to me, Karen. He can't have children of his own, so he wants my baby. He wants our son. Don't let him take our son away from us. Don't let him take my baby. But we just found each other, Lucy. I mean, there's still so much I want to do with her, so much I still have to say to her. I know. Come here, sit down. You've got to stop this. This isn't doing you any good, and it's certainly not doing Libby any good at all. You know what Joey's telling me? You cannot beat yourself up over things you cannot control, so stop it. But I, I should have seen this coming. There, there should have been something that I could have done. Oh, like what? You know, most dads of teenage daughters deal with maybe a tattooed biker or, or, or maybe even some drug beat, deadbeat kind of guy. But no, not you. Doc, you're dealing with a vampire. How in the world could you have seen this coming? Uh, maybe if I was more vigilant. Maybe then I could have protected her. Everything you can possibly do, and she knows how much you care and how much you love her. Do you think so? Yes. You think I've told her that enough? Uh, yeah, I do. And I don't want you to worry because I think you're gonna have plenty of time to tell her as many times as you want to. Because I, I don't know why, but somehow in my heart I just know this is all gonna work out. It's it's gonna be okay. <sighs> why is this taking so damn long? You know how difficult this must be for Jack. I shouldn't talk to him alone. Yeah, good idea. I'm not uh, leaving you alone, him. Hey, I trusted you, Caleb. I'm just asking for you to trust me. I won't be far. Livy, listen to me. I've come to take you home. If you stay with Caleb, you're gonna lose your life. I know exactly who Caleb is and what he's planning to do. Jack, I'm gonna be reborn into this wonderful world. No, 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 he's tricked you. His world is not an eternal peace, it's an eternal hell. Hell on earth. You don't know that, Jack. Yes, I do. Caleb made me like him. A vampire. You're one. Yes. And that's why I was so afraid to be with you. You remember when I pushed you away? Lydia, I was scared that, that I might do something to you, that I might hurt you. And, and that's why I did that. I couldn't stand it. So all this time you knew. I wanted you so bad. My body ached for you but I was so scared of losing control and turning into this beast like him. You kept something this important a secret? No, 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 Libby. I tried telling you, but when I saw that look on your face, when I said that word vampire, I couldn't stand to see you look at me that way, with that disgust and that hate. Not when I've seen the love in your eyes. Can you say something, please? Hey, they say something. That's the difference between you and Caleb. He made me understand, so I wouldn't be afraid. No, no. Listen to yourself, those are not your words. Caleb has you so far in his spell. Think what you like, Jack. And whatever helps you get through this. But you're my past, and Caleb, he's my future. I'm sorry. You know, my... An insatiable appetite. A lust for power. The problem with that is... Well, you always get so close to it real power, but it always just seems to elude you. But I can give you the power that you've never dreamed of. Go on. Well, when you have other blood in you, my blood, you'll be so much stronger. You've always had to fight to get on top, fight to stay on top. Well, I can give you the kind of power that no one can take away from you. 
eternal power. It'd be like discovering the fountain of youth. And skinny dipping in it. You know, you and I would make an incredible team. But I usually work alone. But I can watch your back. And you can watch me. Turn these off. Well, let me turn you on to the kind of power you can only imagine. Right here. Right now. Let me show you what I can do for you. A forbidden pleasure you've never had. A thrill you've never tasted. All you have to do is open your mind, Chris. And open this cage. This vampire stuff is a little hard to swallow. Well, when you're staring into glowing eyes and shiny fangs, you believe it fast. Apparently, Caleb has these superhuman powers. And he is trying to take my baby. That's why I'm having these pains, Karen. He wants my baby. We don't know for sure that what happened to you has anything to do with Caleb. Yes, we do. No. It's just the fact that he can hurt this child makes me sick. Okay, okay. Makes me sick. I'm gonna protect you and the child. I told you that. Okay, oh, just relax. <sighs> I'm, uh... I'm gonna run the blood to the lab, get it tested. Uh, for now, just take it easy, okay? It's okay. Dr. Martinez, 5426. Hey, Dr. Hazif. Rosa Martinez, 5426. This sounds so bizarre, but I think I believe them. What's wrong? Okay, here goes. Uh, Ian and Eve think there's a vampire after their son, and that he bit Jack, who is now one too, and that explains why things have been so crazy around here. I was about to say that is ridiculous. But after what we've experienced. And there's more. This head vampire guy's name is Caleb. We're gonna meet your bells. Gabby's boyfriend? Yeah. The guy who turned her head yeah, and yeah. made the rest? Do you think all this is true? Gabby and Jack have been acting strange. And lately, I have hauled in a few bodies, minus their blood. Well, that would explain Jack's incredible strength. And why we found Gabby alone with Emilio after he was attacked. Maybe. Gabby we... attacked Emilio, and, and if she did, and this is true, then Emilio could be one too. Okay, I'm gonna put security in Emilio's room right now. Okay, okay? good idea, Frank. Yeah. Frank, uh, just don't be alone with him, okay? Just in case. Yeah, Smith. I won't. You want your back, too. Here's Joanne Smith, 319 East. Michael said this necklace would protect her baby against Kayla. Why am I getting these pains? Why isn't it working? Why isn't it working? I think you better go. No. No, I'm not going anywhere without you. You don't love Caleb. It's a power he has over you, that's all. No, Jack, you don't know what I feel. I know that I love you. And it's somewhere in your heart you love me too. It's Caleb I love. I'm I'm marrying Caleb. Cal Caleb? Livy, he's planted all these emotions inside your head. He's put a picture of this fairy tale life in there, and it's not real. Not like what we have. No, had. Jack, it's in the past. You're wrong. You're not going through good times, Libby, and bad times together. That's what's real. Our fights, our mistakes we made, Libby, our passion, our passion that we have is something you can't describe. And I know you know that. I know you know that's real. Jack, and it wasn't easy. That's, that's, the, that's the point that it wasn't this perfect plan like Caleb has. So what are you saying? I'm saying that when we knew we loved each other, when I would hold you in my arms, you wanted to be there. You chose me. Livy, you wanted me. I, God, Jack, I chose Caleb. No. Okay. No, that's what he's made you believe. He chose you, though. 
He lured you into his sick little trap. Don't listen to him, Olivia. Jack's the one trying to brainwash you with these memories from your past. But that's all they are, memories. Get away from her. I'm the one you want, Olivia. Isn't that right? It's me. There. She told you who she wants. Now get out, and I'll spare your miserable life. I'm not going anywhere without Libby. Then try and take her from me. No, Jack! <sighs> Jack! Jack, are you all right? Remember, Olivia, he's your past. I'm your future. Do him. Don't. Remember how much you wanted to be my wife. How you wanted to live with me through the ages. Yes. I do. I'm yours, Caleb. I'm here. Olivia. Olivia. I'll get the judge, Olivia. We'll continue our ceremony. No. Olivia. In front of Jack. Hmm. Jack. He can watch. Let him see true love. No, no, don't give in to him, Liddy. Don't. Caleb, please, just let him go. Oh. It's for his own good, sweetheart. He needs to see with his own eyes what we mean to each other. Don't do it. Only then will you believe it. It's for his own good. Yeah. It's time to be man and wife. over my dead body. Come on, Chris. I know you want it so bad. I do. Then just take one step closer, and you'll have the power of taking and giving life. I don't think so. You, you thought you had me, didn't you? Taking or giving life. What are you talking about? I'm a doctor. I already have that job. But there are so many things you can't do. Of course, like be a blood-sucking freak. I've stooped pretty low in my time, Gabby, but uh, I do draw the line in certain places. You don't know what you're missing. Um, look, to me, you're just a sexy science experiment, okay? Who's gonna make me hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars? No. You want me. I can tell. <sighs> don't they teach modesty at vampire school? Button yourself up. I'm sleeping alone tonight. No midnight snack for you. All the preliminary tests we've done came back normal. Thank God. Can't wait to tell Eve that everything's fine. Well, I didn't say that. All the tests we've done so far show there's nothing physically wrong with Eve, which means it's all in her head, Ian, and that could be just as dangerous for her and the baby. I swear, you weren't on the guest list. Livy, move away from him. Right now. Doc. Lucy, stay there. Get back. Get back. <laughs> Jack. Jack, take Livy. Get out of here. He'll kill you if Livy's not in the room. Just do what I tell you to do. Get out of here. I'm go. Run. Run. This is my way. Doc. Lucy, Doc. Lucy, go. Oh. Get out. Oh, 
Dad. <laughs> Can I call you Dad? You just messed with the wrong vampire. Stay tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles. Tainted love. Port Charles. He's gonna kill our son. Ian, he wants our baby. <laughs> Nothing is gonna happen to Kevin. I'm gonna make sure of it. I'm, I'm going after him. No, don't go. No, I'm Suicide. coming to. So what do you say, Dad? Aren't you gonna welcome me to the family? Find out about all your favorite daytime shows on ABC.com. I want 50000 in cash and a cold beer now. Tony, your crutch is vibrating. Thieves, Fridays this fall on ABC. So we call a show that has comedy, drama, guest stars, improvisation, and...